Once war was declared, conformity, patriotism, and complete support for the war were demanded of all Americans. Freedom of speech and thought was becoming unacceptable. Different language and culture, suspicious. German Americans in particular were scrutinized and their loyalty questioned. Schools dropped German from their language classes. German books were withdrawn from public libraries. German measles was renamed Liberty Measles and sauerkraut Liberty Cabbage. Frederick Stock, the distinguished conductor of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, was not allowed to conduct, and many other orchestras refused to play the music of Bach and Beethoven. Soon, these sentiments manifested into anti-German violence. The most notorious case occurred in Collinsville, Illinois, when German-born Robert Prager was lynched. Intolerance spread beyond German Americans. William Harding, then governor of Iowa, made a brash proclamation. Conversation in public places, on trains, or over the telephone should be in the English language. People who spoke Dutch, Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, and Czech, on top of those who spoke German, were affected. Elderly women were jailed for speaking German over the telephone. A Lutheran pastor was imprisoned for preaching part of a funeral service for a soldier killed in the war in Swedish. His explanation that he did it because the young man's grandparents couldn't speak English did not sway the judge. Governor Harding even maintained that God did not hear prayers that were spoken in any language other than English. <laughs> 